past 50 years, some of the greatest minds of our time have come together to develop the standard model of particle physics. This model describes all the processes that we see around us, except for gravity. Now that we've found the Higgs boson, the standard model is complete. There are no more unanswered questions in science. We can pack up and go home with a job well done. Unfortunately, the standard model of particle physics is hard to learn and difficult to understand. There are broken symmetries, non-perturbative corrections, running constants and confusing notations. It can take more than a decade for a student to learn the basics of particle physics and it can take even longer to become an expert in this field. That's why we're pleased to announce the latest breakthrough in science, the substandard model of particle physics. We're moving forwards into a new era of science where physics is cheaper, simpler and everyone can take part. With the substandard model of physics, the universe is even easier to understand than ever before. Let's take a look at the improvements over the old model. In the substandard model, there are still three neutrinos, but they come in three flavors that are easier to remember. It's strawberry, it's vanilla, and it's chocolate. In the standard model, there are some rich and elegant global fits, like CKM Fitter and UT Fit. These can be difficult to interpret, so we've distilled things down into simpler, cleaner images. Arts Council funding, here we come. The running constants are often a source of frustration. We have replaced all of the running constants in the theory with constant constants, which are the same at all length and mass scales. In the interest of public health and fitness, we have introduced a more leisurely walking constant, which operates between the hours of 9am and 5pm weekdays. In the standard model, the Higgs potential is shaped like the bottom of a champagne bottle. In the substandard model, it's shaped like the bottom of a beer bottle to be more student-friendly. The neutrinos have mass, but they do not mix. The mass hierarchy is fixed, removing the need for expensive and time-consuming experiments. The colours of the strong force have been revised from red, green and blue to the more appealing vermilion, pistachio and sapphire. The neutral K-on system has also been revised. Instead of the traditional K-long and K-short, which show almost but not quite maximal mixing, we've introduced the K-long and the K not so long, with a mixing angle of exactly 90 degrees. You'll never need to worry about mixing ever again. Speaking of mesons, we've reduced the myriad of different states to just a few. We no longer have the eightfold way, because if you look at this diagram, there are only seven points on it. With the correct knowledge, the substandard model can be easily re-extended to include any physical phenomenon. In the spirit of international collaboration, our colleagues from the UK and from Canada are calling the massive neutral weak boson the Z boson, whereas those of us from the United States, to reduce confusion, are calling it the Z boson. People from other places around the world just call it the Z, -Z, -Z boson. We have introduced the new A and C mesons. The D meson decays to the C meson, which decays to the V meson, which decays to the A meson. There is no longer any need for such outdated constraints as the conservation of momentum and energy. In the substellar model, causality is ensured by requiring photons to travel at the speed of neutrinos, which is defined to be fast. Very fast. Actually, it's um, very, very, very... The Higgs vacuum expectation value is now between 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. There are new electric monopoles. Very, very, very fast. It's faster than Superman and it's faster than a Ferrari. It's very fast. The traditional terms spin up and spin down have been replaced with a jump to the left and then a step to the right. One of the most difficult to understand aspects of the standard model is the Kibibo Kobayashi Muskawa quark mixing matrix. It's a tangled array of parameters and constraints. We've recognised that the fundamental characteristic of this matrix is that it should be unitary, and therefore we've replaced it with the identity matrix. It's unitary, it's easy to remember, and it's trivially applied to any physical scenario. We've made all charged leptons and quarks massless. It's just common sense. This simplifies the equations. In the substandard model, the Higgs boson always decays to two Z bosons, and the Z boson always decays to two leptons. It makes finding it again incredibly easy. Welcome to the future of particle physics. It's simple. It's extendable. It's easy to learn. 
The experiment is cheaper. Right, okay, but how does this model account for CP violation? Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, clearly it's, uh, trivial. Trivial, <laughs> Yeah. Badly. Okay, so tell me, how many decimal places can you calculate the gyromagnetic ratio of the electron? Oh! 42. Two or three? 200. Hi. Do we still have electrons in this? Fine, fine. How about baryons? Is, is the proton stable in this model? Technically, no. No, it's not. No, yes! What's a proton? It's possible to write the entire formalism in compact notation on a few sides of paper. Happy April 1st. Happy April 1st. Happy April 1st. Happy April 1st. Can I do my bit about relativity? Yeah, please. Okay, fantastic. So, this is general relativity in a nutshell over here. Uh, this basically explains all gravitational phenomena in the universe at all length scales. Uh, certain simplification, which is an approximation, which is applicable only in flat space and only to slow moving observers is Einstein's special theory of relativity right here. We've gone one step further and introduced the extra special theory of relativity, where all observers in the universe move with constant velocity. One of, and quite probably the only advantage of the substandard model of particle physics is that it is easier to remember. Are we done now? I just dropped it. It's fine. <laughs> eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I'm going to have died for you. No. Conservation of flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I'm going to try some chocolate. Mm. Dude, they're on the mix. <sighs> Never go for ice cream, that happens. Mm. No mixing. Can I go back to the Sandal model? Ah, <sighs> fine. Thanks. From here? Mm-hmm. Yay. And, well, oh. I'll give you some. The substandard model part. Hey, excuse me, uh, it is a uh, time for our weekly meeting, no? 